I'm cruising through a beach town anywhere in America, I come across these funky little places that make me ask, is it a tourist trap or do the locals really eat there? So I'm on Pacific Coast Highway between Santa Monica and Malibu when I come across this joint, Patrick's Roadhouse. I just gotta pull in and say, hey, so what's the story? Welcome to Bastards. The story is a local legend. We've been here for 33 years. A former railway station turned restaurant. This is a legendary breakfast place. Run by a guy who moved here from Portugal. I speak a little English. I speak a little German. So do I. <laughs> With a waitress from Brazil. Well, look at the smiling service you have right here, huh? The customers, I love them. Every weekend I'm here. And a fiercely loyal California clientele. Best. In love with a menu of homemade favorites. This is my kitchen. Like fresh chicken salad, an overstuffed breakfast sandwich, something called Eggs Florentina Bitch, with jack cheese, olives, mushrooms, and fresh spinach. It's really good. And the owner's special creation. That's a good looking omelet. Called Silvio's Omelet, with Silvio's secret. I don't think I would have done the onions that way. Onions caramelized in brown sugar. But I like them in there. It's different and a huge breakfast that made it onto the menu as kind of a blue plate special for one of the regulars. Arnold uh, used to come in every day. Right. And uh, there is one dish that his mom always made in Austria. Which was this? Which was the Bauernfrühstück bon kind of, you know. You chop everything up that you have around. Okay. And you just put it together. So it's really everything from the kitchen, the garden, the, the barn. A little cumin, not too much, you can over <laughs> Arnold put this on the menu? Arnold wanted it on the menu. Really? Yeah. Sausage. We make you a good a team, little... Julio. You just keep bringing it over here. A little bacon. Then we should have a little ham. How many of these do you sell normally? Eggs? Or bond for soup? Parker Blueberries. Many. There we go. It's got a little spice. I like that. The Bowen Fischtuck was already on the menu when Silvio started as a new waiter here in 1989, a recent immigrant from Portugal who needed a job, and convinced owner Bill Fischler to give him a shot. So that's Bill. Not the first snap decision Bill had made. Just ask his son how Bill bought the place to start with. In those days, this was called Roy's, and it was just this little building. Little right part, here. right. And my father orders his burger, takes one bite of his burger and just revolted by it, turns to Roy and says, how can you serve this garbage? And Roy, <laughs> it's the end of the day, Roy's going, look, why don't you buy the place? And the next day, my father was in here flipping burgers. So everything stayed the same. I mean, there's all these funny little things like this little switch. And don't uh, pull that one, because the whole roof oh, will come Everything down. will fall off. The counter is the same counter. The tables are the same table. This was the original counter? Yes. That cup may have been here for the last this 35 one. years. And then ring I know. God, that's loud! <laughs> After Bill passed away, his family turned to Silvio. Two. He's been running the place for two years now. Careful, the syrup is hot. Doing things Bill's way. We're gonna follow Bill's tradition and Bill's beliefs and Bill's desires. That's Bill. If flickering lights are a sign that Bill's <laughs> watching, he's gotta love the fact that Silvio's still giving the regulars what they've been loving for years. You always order a Because I think everything is good. It's a little bit strange, and we like that. Like this signature dish, you won't find anywhere else. Why would you ever change things like... The Dijon Plum Burger. Dijon Plum Burger is great. Okay. okay. Angus Burgers. Angus Burgers. Is that mayonnaise you're buttering on yes. this? Okay, so you're putting mayonnaise on... Usually just a smidgen. I... A what? A smidgen? A little bit. You're not supposed to say smidgen. You just don't hear many people often use it. You're, you know, that are our age. We take um, plum jelly. Now, who orders this one? Crazy people. But do people like it when they order it? Good crazy people. Yes, they come back and have it. So pickles, tomatoes, the Lettuce. burger. Did we put salt and pepper Dijon on the burger? Dijon mustard. Yes, uh -uh. So that's actually that's the salt. That's the, salt. the seasoned salt. Seasoned salt. Got it. Pickle. Oh. Uh, all of hey, it. Hey, where are you going? Oh, 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 you're going to taste it. This is what this is all about. Do you think I'm going to like it or not? I think you're going to like it. You've got good taste. Do you think I could put half of it in my mouth? I'll bet you five bucks that you can. Wonder that right it. there, seriously? I'd have that out on the street. Come try the Plum Dijon burger. 
Wow, that's really good. But if you think that's weird, check out this one. The Rockefeller Burger has um, mushrooms, jack cheese, sour cream goes on here. And then the caviar. And then the caviar. Goes on top of that. Correct. Wow. That's, that's crazy. Nice. I've never, I mean, I've seen a lot of things. I don't think I've ever seen that. Go for it. Wow. Different. Yeah. While Silvio's kept everything that's been on the menu for years, he has started bringing in some new stuff, too. Chicken or salmon, mango salad. Like fresh organic produce. Now, you go down and pick out all the produce down at the market? Correct. What time do you have to go down there in the morning? 5.30 in the morning, I get up. It's the best granola in town. I love it. Whatever he's making, from fruit to that bow and first stick thing, wow. Silvio's keeping this place as real as it's always been. And I plan to be here for the next 30, 40 years. You come in here, and you immediately feel that you're home. For first timers. Oh, I'd love to come back and bring friends. And long timers. I've been coming to Patrick's Roadhouse for, I think, 25 years. At the Green Joint on PCH.